Hi guys, this is Fake Ottawa here, and this is my first haul, and it is for April. So we're starting off with Red Velvet's Red Room in Japan, the Blu-ray, but I feel like for the quality and like it being on DVD instead of a Kino, it's worth it, at least if you're like a super big like Red Velvet like myself. And the Travis is really nice. And overall, it's a really, really good concert. I think that they did a great job with performing and then communicating in Japanese to the best of their ability. Um, and if you watch the documentary, they're like, it's so cute. Like, it shows them, like, behind the scenes and during rehearsals and stuff like that. And them practicing, like, what to say to Japanese fans when they go on stage and stuff like that. So I think it's a nice little watch. The Red Marikino, aka YSM, Y again with the Kino. And I had some difficulty trying to figure this one out, like how to like put it on my phone and stuff. Like I had to search Twitter videos of people putting because Taeyeon's Kino she just came out with has the same kind of design and whatnot as well as the track list. It's a little less than the original concert, but this was at the time, you know, they were promoting uh, Summer Magic and Power Up, so that was the main focus. But yeah, I haven't watched this one in full yet. I'm going to watch it, and I'm also going to be buying the Blu-ray Japanese version of this when this comes out, so their album. This is Hannah's A Talk. This is one of my favorite minis from her. But the packaging on this is like, yikes. Because it's just this very really like thin plastic slip cover and it's this very thin cardboard, as you can tell. It's dense everywhere. But I'm glad to have this finally after a million years. Red for a long time was like my favorite kind of song and I was so obsessed with it like I tried to learn like the choreo for it horribly but it was fun I really love this era for her too like outfit and hair wise and everything like that she slayed it but yeah um the reason I bought this other than it, like, one of my favorite Hannah albums is because this track Number four was not included on iTunes at the time that I bought it. I don't know if it is now, but that track was exclusive to like what was it, Korea or the album version or something? Like that. So I've never, I've, I've actually never heard that song, but everything else I've heard, I just, I've never heard it before. So this was an era in Astro Trash. I bought their Japanese mini album, like four versions of it. So I have the standard. They all have the same um, tracks on there. I've only heard the title track, I haven't heard the other ones. And I did like it, so. I haven't, I just haven't had the time to. And then I have the limited A, comes with a DVD. And then the version I'd recommend to people if they want to buy this album, the B version, the B version, because it has a photo book in it, even though it's pretty small. But there's a photo book in it, because the other versions just have lyrics. That's why. Just so unfortunate. And we have one of the member versions, and I have my bias, who is Junjin, which is basically the standard but with a different cover. So. I don't like. There's some weird thing going on with the photo cards with this. I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but like, none of these came with photo cards. So. And were sealed. So. I don't really know. Like, if it's just 
random chance or if it's like I don't know where like because there are photo cards with this release I just don't know how people got them because I didn't get any and it's kind of a mystery and I'm kind of annoyed by it in a way and then this isn't an album it's just like part of an album I guess so I have Chodong's Dandy from one of the Moto Go Go albums. I think it's in the day. Just bought this because it was cheap and she looks really cute. It's really cute. I really like these. I don't think I'm going to pop it out, but it's just nice to have to choose. One of WSN's mini albums. I can't think of the number right now. Checklist. Here's the name of it, like officially, I just don't want to say it. And I'm not going to try to because it's going to be embarrassing. So, tracklist. Love the title track. Number two, number four, and number six. But I do really like this album overall. I feel like whenever they come back, they release quality stuff, like music, VYs, etc., etc. They've grown a lot. And I can't wait to have the Chinese members back, but I totally understand, like, you know, rock your girls comes first. But, yeah. Really like this album. It's super pretty. The photo book's really nice, too. I guess it's like a first time I've ever been something like this sort of thing, so. I have in I have a signed promo album from Elvis. For some dream mini. And, um I won this for like a pretty good price, honestly. And there's some issues with it and I knew that beforehand. Like Yu Kyung's signature was launched and then there's like some damage. But Okay. This album is so pretty. I love it so much. It's such a good album too. Love Summer Dream. I don't know if we'll be able to focus because it's kind of weird with the material. Track number two. Focus is one of my favorites as well as um, Male is and number two. But I really like this album. Um, Hopefully have a comeback soon because the song is so good and so underrated. I hum like the chorus in my head all the time because it's so catchy and it's just so cute. I hope they have a comeback soon. And I also have a regular version but too lazy to get out. So besides the comeback version, that's the most important thing. Right? <laughs> For both of them, I got Bella's film strip, which I'm not mad about. She was since that dropped it since she's my second bias and then I have uh, well I pulled one of Cotton's photo cards and um his songs clear card I just had them I don't know where they went but there's one more and I also have Everglow single and interestingly enough, I really have this, but I just bought it for bias stuff. So, Nia is my bias, so I bought it with her CD plate. Um, there's Unda's postcard. And then I bought it with this photo card, which is super cute. It's my favorite of the two. And then I bought her other one. It's also really cute really love Everglow. Um, Bonbon Chocolate is so good. It is so good. Moon is also one of my favorite songs. The one's alright. I haven't listened to it that much, but it's an okay song, but oh, I love Bonbon Chocolate. I know a lot of people don't like it because of the autotune and stuff, but I think it honestly enhances it and it works for that type of song, but I totally get it. Then we move into a group that I never thought I'd be collecting or even like kind of liking their music because I've I've always like understood like where people were coming from with this group but like I just never 
got into it until now. So I have Dada's Nitro. Honestly, this is one of the best albums of the year so far. It's so good. Well, us today, or no, five more minutes, Christmas. It's so good. This album is really, really good, and it's so pretty. It's like a classic. Like, the photo book's really nice, too. I'll just do a little photo because not a lot of people probably know, but it's really and then for my pulls, I pulled both of Yevon's cards, which I'm not mad about because she looks super pretty. Um, I don't think I'm going to collect cards for them, but I'll just keep away pull. See, these are so pretty, like, wow. She looks really good. Sorry about that, I was interrupted. So, the postcard that I pulled for this is June. These postcards are really pretty too. Super reflective. And yeah. So, I hope Daya comes back really soon and that I do enjoy the next release that they have because this album is just fantastic. I love it so much. And then I bought a lot of Luna stuff this month because. I was inspired to because there was another YouTuber that I watched that, you know, completed her Luna collection and I was like, okay, let's do it. So I have Heejin single. I bought this one without a photo card and I'm not really gonna flip through this one because there's like a million dollars in the online already. So no real point, <laughs> I think. And then Hyunjin's A, like I collect the A versions mostly, so that's why I have them. And then this is the photo card that I pulled. And the reason why I bought her as new is because she's a part of my bias line, so I want at least one photo card from their, so their solos, so yeah, that's why. And then the next two, I don't necessarily need it, it's just because I'm trash for the unit, so, yeah. Um, I have the normal version of Love and Live, super pretty, I really, really love the title track for this, I think it's like one of the most underrated Luna title tracks. And then I have also, who is my bias, Luna overall so excited when I pulled her card. And this is such a cute picture. Look at them. Talk about the track list a bit. New Heart's a really nice intro. Title track is amazing. Love you and me together. Fairy tale as well. A Valentine Girl I do like. It's my least favorite track overall but I do like it. But the other ones are just so good that it's like Hard to like, hard to rank them, I'd say. And then I have the normal version of Love and Evil. And I already have a limited one. I bought it like before people were selling it for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So that's why I do have it. I did not purchase it for that much because, trust me, I am poor have money for that. And then I have Vivi's photo card for this one. And funny enough, I pulled her limited card as well, so I have a full Vivi set for this album. Who would have thought? And then I have a copy of the normal edition of XX. By Luna. Interesting story behind this because I did not post the first video that this was, well, that my, my first haul that this was in. So, I had problems with both of my XX albums for different reasons. The A version had like the most issues because there were misprints in it. 
And by misprints, I mean there was like dirt on Kim Lip and Shorty's pages. Like seriously, how did this happen? Like who, what, when, why, and how? I legit have never seen this before and I hope I don't see this ever again. And it was, it was so weird because it was dirt and then it was like sealed over with whatever they used for like the finish of the pages. So like it was just encased in there like a like a fossil or something. And it was really weird and I've never seen that before in my life. And I hope it's the last time I see it. <laughs> so that was really annoying. And then for my B version, I thought there wasn't a photo card in there, but there was, and it was all the way in the back and it was stuck. So yeah, I had a lot of fun times with this album dinner or this that album. So, I bought another version on Macari with Jody's photo card, and it was actually pretty cheap. So, not mad about that. And then I bought Hustle's card because I thought there wasn't a card in the version, but there was. So, yeah, I'm still keeping it though. And I love Jody's hair, so that's why I wanted her card in particular. So, yeah, I love. Going back from Luna, my favorite song is Where You At, and then Satellite's like a close second, but I do love all the songs on there. They're so good. And then we have another album here. So I have Cookie, and this is Yeti's cover. So I decided this year that I was going to collect all of the rookie covers because I had only Sogi and Joy, who are... Well, Sogi is my bias, and I really love Joy's cover, so that's why I bought those two. But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I decided on collecting all of them. And I bought Irene's, like, in February. And I found Yeti's for the price. So I bet on it, and I got it for the price. This cover is so cute. This is still one of my favorite Red Velvet minis, so like little little body talk, talk to me, have like, like this is such a good album. This is such a good album and I do like Ricky, so yeah. Only negative thing I can say about it is the styling. It just I don't like I don't like the dresses. I don't like them. Like um NCT 127s first Japanese album, Awaken, and this is Gemma's version. This thing is really tall, as you can tell, I can't even, like, bring it, or show it in full. This is the track list. Love Lips is probably one of my favorites. Kitchen Beat's also really good, and to start, um, Wiki Wiki's good. It's not a good chain, but I do like it. And my baby boy, he's looking so good. I love him in these soft pastel colors. He looks so nice. And then it came with one of the pre-order postcard things. I don't know what star this was from, but came with that. And then if I can find it, which I hope I can, this I bought his photo card separately, so this is his photo card. Can't wait for their Korean comeback this month. I'm gonna be buying it, and I'm excited. So, so for Dreamcatcher, I have one of Dami's cards from Alone in the City. I was planning on finishing or like collecting this full set and I'm basically done with it. I'm just waiting for Judy's card. It's such a unique set and I really like the whole concept of it. And then I have one of Chorong's cards for summertime. There's like two solo cards, I think. And then it came with this purple picture. 
that up there. It's pretty big. And then let's see what we got. Oh, sorry. One of Shodan's blossom cards. It came with this and then the, the photo. She used clear card from End of Nightmare. Looks so good. Only reason why I bought another one is because I pulled two of the same ember, which was Sua. Who is my second bias? I'm not super mad about it. This Orion card. Just one of A Pink's Japanese singles. Of course. Got the bias. I really like this concept, actually. Um, I have a couple of Anne cards, so... From, G G oh, from GWSN. This is her, like, small card from their debut. And then... Sorry, and then... Her color card from the second me. I decided to collect her because I got most of her stuff. Well, like I got two of it to my second album, and I was like, no, I found these for a good price, so I decided to get them. Doesn't hurt, right? And then I got some Jinjin cards, so I have this card from Rise Up. As well as the Polaroid. I'm not going to do this right now. He looks like the hair of my mad. Then I also got his big quick card. I have one of the Luniverse buttons. So I have Chody, who is so charging my bias sign. And hers is so cute, I love it. Um, a Pink's Pink Memory, the white version. I was having some feels because it was a Pink's anniversary in April, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start getting some stuff for them. The same thing I'm getting, so I got the white version of Pink Memory. Really, really love this. Album, Deja Vu, Perfume, I'm trying to, can't really show it right, but remember, Perfume, Deja Vu, um, check my, like, this whole album is really good, but it's like super fragile, so I would definitely recommend being careful with it, because it's just cardboard, poem, cardboard, and then photo book, so, yeah, be careful. And then, to end it off, we have one of my Grail albums that I was able to get, finally, after such a long time. So, I have So Hyun's I Got a Book. I think, I hope this is Japanese press because there's no Tonka sticker, and if this is like a forgery or like a bootleg, it's a really good bootleg. Um, these albums for specific numbers so hard so hard to collect because they're so expensive apparently they're also in print it's just that stores don't offer like the option to buy a certain number version and that's why like things have been the way they are if you're trying to collect these so yeah really annoying but I to finally have this reason like why it's my real album is because of price as well as the fact that whenever I see it it usually is sold and I never get a chance to buy it. So I'm glad to have it now. It looks so nice. I'm like in love but I also hate this packaging. So like I don't know how to feel about it. Really pretty though. I'm glad to have it for anyway. 
one album crossed off the list, which is nice. So, yeah, I guess this is it. So, thank you for watching. What is your favorite thing that you bought this month? And what is what are some things that you're looking forward to getting um, for May? And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, have a nice rest of your day, and yeah, thank you. Bye.